Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to attempt to make some transfers, but with a little bit of a difference. Now, I know that the transfers or decals or or what stickers or whatever you want to call them work really well with resin and Posca paints and with alcohol inks and with felt tips. But I want to see if I can make them using the nail varnish that I bought and I did the experiment on a few weeks ago. Check that video out at the end. So I've stamped some images I've got my acetate and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my acetate over my images like so and then I'm going to draw them. Now I'm going to draw the outlines using my black Posca pen and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the rest, colour in the rest using nail polish, polish, let it cure up, then pour some resin over it to see if it works. So I don't know if it's going to work or not. Stick with me. Let's see. And... Let's get on with it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the nail varnish to dry before I put any resin over this. Now, I haven't done this very neatly, as you can see by that eye there. And if this works, then what I will probably use is use some micro brushes rather than the brushes that come with the actual nail varnish. But I want to see if it works first. So these are dried now. I just need to take them off the stamped images underneath. And then all I'll do is I'll cut out, leaving a space around them, the actual images themselves. So I don't want to waste this acetate. I will use it again for something else. So I just cut off there like so. That bit there like that. And then all I'll do is I will put these flat like so. I've got my resin mixed up. I'm just taking a couple of pipettes. I shall fill them up. And then all I'm going to do is drop on so that there is enough space around the actual image, as you can see. And now some bubbles will come out because I use quite a thick resin for this rather than a thin resin. And the reason is I find it doesn't move around so much. But the bubbles are not a problem because I just go over it with my long necked lighter as opposed to a torch. You don't want to use a torch because what will happen is the acetate will curve and bend. And that's the last thing you want because you want to keep them quite flat. And then any spare that is too much by filling it up with a pipette like this, will just move out to the edges and it will use its own surface tension and it won't actually flow over the acetate. So there we go, so there's that one done. We'll leave those now to cure up and once they're cured up, we can then see if it's worked. I'm not going to worry too much about the bubbles on this one because this is just really a test. But obviously it is good to get them gone if you can. And this is a lot gentler way of doing it than using a hot torch. Well, these transfers or decals or whatever you want to call them are cured now. I'm not sure if they're going to come out.
So that's the owl one. Oh, that's come out really well. I love that. I will definitely be making transfers or decals in the future with owl varnish as well because I really love how that's come out. It's giving it a whole new dimension of colours and different bits and pieces. Really didn't think that was going to come out. And if you haven't seen what I make with these, and I've got quite a few projects on the go with these, and one of them is the cake stand, and that comes out, that came out really, really nice. Side it's looking a bit blobby, but from that side, I think it looks really, really good. So that would be the way that around that I did it. And I think it's because I did all the outlines with the actual Posca pen, which I I know works really well with it because I've used it a lot. Let's look at the owl the other side. Oh, yes. Look at the right side of the owl. He is beautiful. So there we go. Nail varnish. I think I will be definitely using a lot more nail varnish going forward to do these things. I love the way that that's come out and those transfers have come out. They'd look great in cards or anything like that. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you'll be making any and using up your nail varnish like that. Don't forget, check out my join button. You're under no obligation by clicking it. All it will tell you is what it benefits you get by being a member. Subscribe as well so you don't miss out going forward and hit that like button because that really does help me. And if you just want to say thank you, just click the buy me a coffee link that can be found in the description. It really does help because it is quite expensive making these videos and every little does help. Thank you very much. Enjoy your resin. Take care. Bye.